Hi, Dr. Mike Mossop here for COVET. Thanks very much for your interest in our app. I'm hoping it makes your life in practice a whole lot easier and helps get you home on time tonight. So what is COVET? We are an AI software co-pilot for veterinarians and the function I'm gonna focus on most today is helping you automate medical records from exam room recordings. We can also do things like generating other documents, client communication summaries, uh, post-visit summaries. We can summarize um, medical histories from PDF documents and photographs of handwritten text, but we're gonna get into those in another video. So to get started, go to our website, co.vet. You can sign up for an account and start a free trial. Um, you'll receive an email prompting you to download a mobile application to your device. You're mostly gonna want to use a mobile device to record in exam rooms because the microphone quality is quite good, but you can access COVET through any desktop uh, via a web browser by going to our website. And typically I'll have a web browser open with COVET in the doctor's office where uh, I can do things like edit records and copy and paste records to our medical record software, which I will show you in a minute. But um, to get started, I'll activate my cursor here so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, you're going to start on the current case screen. This is past cases, and then you've got profile and settings over here. But with the current case, you can hit the question mark button to reveal extra context there just to help you get oriented when you're using the device for the first few times. And the blue button here is to submit feedback. That's a good way to uh, let us know about any problems you're having um, or really good things that are happening. It just helps tie the feedback to your specific case and will help us troubleshoot faster. So most of the time you're going to want to hit the new recording button. I'm going to do a very brief kind of dictation type thing. Obviously it's going to be a more natural conversation most of the time with you and a client, but COVID is very good at parsing what is medically relevant and what is not. Um, I'll also point out you can start and stop the recording multiple times. Sometimes I'll do secondary recordings after an exam to add additional information and you can uh, both reveal a timer there. You can see how uh, far ahead of schedule you're, you're running today, as I'm, I'm sure is always the case. And then you can add additional notes, which I use for things like um, tricky name spelling, stuff like that. If the pet has an unusual name, typing it out there will help the AI uh, populate that correctly through your document. So again, we're gonna start recording. You should always ask for consent while recording. Uh, I typically say uh, I have an app on my phone, it listens to what we say and helps me write notes and uh, I wanna make sure you're okay with that. But uh, that being said, uh, today we're looking at Lucy. She's a two-year-old female spayed Labrador and um, she presented for a three-day history of diarrhea. Otherwise, she's doing great. Uh, we did a physical exam. She weighs 28 kilos. Her heart rate was 110. Her respiration was about 32. Little overweight body condition score of um, six out of nine. Um, and her physical exam was unremarkable with the exception of a, a small lump on her left thorax, uh, two centimeter by two centimeter uh, subcutaneous soft mobile mass. So uh, we talked about the diarrhea. Uh, we ended up sending a fecal sample for testing. Uh, but in the meantime, we sent Lucy home with some Fortiflora, a probiotic with instructions to give one packet once a day for 14 days. And we talked about the fine, uh, sorry, we talked about the lump on her left side. I recommended a fine needle aspirate. I, I think it's probably a lipoma, but um, aspirating would be the only way to be sure. The client declined that for now and we're gonna monitor. So uh, with that being said, I'll pause the recording and I could go ahead and hit the generate button down there, but just really quickly, I'm gonna X out in the top left and you can see the recording there is transcribing. Once it's transcribed, as is now the case, you can, sorry, you can click right on that and you can see the transcript, you can play back the recording. Um, it's a nice point of truth in the event there's ever a complaints case or anything like that. It will stay on your file uh, until you delete it. So back to the case uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit the generate button there and what we're doing now we're going to generate a medical record or a document from those recordings using a template and templates are different instruction sets that tell the ai how to handle a given recording uh, you can see here there's record templates summary templates and email templates vast majority of the time at least when you're getting started you're going to want to use one of these soap ones uh, I like the default normals. Basically, if I haven't verbalized something, it's gonna plug in some normal findings for me. So hit the generate button there. 
and we're off to the races. Um, what I will do now, I'm just gonna flip over to my desktop screen to kind of show you how I would do the, the copy paste function. And uh, we will flip over here. You'll notice a couple things. So number one, uh, the case has been named for us already. Usually we will look at the information in the recording and name it appropriately just to help you keep track of things. If you do want, you can name it something else. You can kind of override that automatic naming. And um, as we're waiting for this, like it usually takes two or three minutes for a, a typical recording. You can go wash your hands, grab a bite to eat, catch up on another case, things like that. But um, clicking in here, you can see uh, we're following the, the standard SOAP format, but uh, quick history of the presenting complaint, the lump on the side, um, as you move down to the physical exam, it's picked up on a lot of what we've said, uh, including some default normals that we've plugged in here. And, and keep in mind, you can tweak or personalize what is the default normal, but um, it does pick up on the mass on the side and we get a nice concise assessment and then kind of a plan detailing what we talked about. We try and single out things like uh, client declining specific information, that sort of thing. So. So we've got a record uh, in terms of moving this over, it's a copy paste function. So you'll notice when you hover over any section, you've got this copy button, uh, copy to clipboard. You just go over to the subjective section in your records and you can paste there. For those of you that have um, the ability to paste everything into one field, you can use this context button and go copy entire content. It will paste all four sections in one go, nicely formatted. It's a little faster. You can also email the content to yourself or to a client. And that covers the basics. So uh, I hope that's enough to get you up and running. Do let us know how it's going. You're welcome to submit feedback anytime, or you can email us. My email address is mike.dvm at co.vet. I'd love to hear from you. I'm happy to help you along, uh, get things working exactly how you like. So have fun and thanks very much.